As the moon starts to get into position to sweep its shadow across the United States from the west coast to the east coast, some people are packing up. Sleeping bag, tent, air mattress, uh, lights. Others are already there. We left at 4.30 in the morning. We got here about 3.30 in the afternoon. Wherever you're going. Nebraska. Wyoming, I think. Don't expect to be the only people there. Oregon saw huge traffic delays this weekend as people tried to be the first in the path of totality. And because the eclipse isn't happening in just one specific place, cities like Idaho Falls have had a hard time planning for it. This event is a challenge because we're expecting far more people and they're not going to just one location. They're expected to be going all over. Um, and so planning um, those resources when you, there's just so many unknowns. The repeated warnings about the eclipse damaging your eyes might make you worry about your furry friends. I mean, it's a risk. It's not likely to happen. But Indianapolis veterinarian Trish Wiggers says dogs and cats don't really spend a lot of time looking at the sun in the first place. But um, if you want to be on the safe side, just keep them inside for those few hours. According to a CNN poll, about half of Americans have plans to watch the solar eclipse on Monday. I'm Andrew Spencer.